Okay, so we're returning back to item nine, City Centre Road update and in principle compulsory purchase order resolution. Uh, the Cabinet have received a confidential briefing and had a discussion in closed session. We're now moving back into public session for the resolution. Um, there are six recommendations, which because of the um, legality of this, I am minded to read them. First of all, we are recommended to approve the Land Assembly Strategy for the City Centre Road project as attached in Appendix 1. Secondly, to give delegated authority to the Director of Regeneration on the advice of the City Solicitor in consultation with a leader, leader um, portfolio holder responsible for planning regeneration economic development to negotiate and complete acquisitions of legal interests on the basis of the statutory CPO compensation code in land required for the delivery of the City Centre Road scheme. Thirdly, to give delegated authority to the Director of Regeneration to procure and appoint special, specialist advisors for land referencing agents and specialist compulsors compulsory purchase surveyors, um, four, to approve the progress of all work necessary to establish a case for compulsory purchase of land required for the city centre road scheme. Fifthly, to approve in principle the use of compulsory purchase powers for the acquisition of land to deliver the city centre road scheme, indicatively shown in red on the attached plan at appendix two of the report, and note that the making of any compulsory purchase order will be subject to members being satisfied in all respects that the criteria in paragraphs 3.19 have been met. Members are also asked to note that the red line area shown on the plan is currently widely drawn around the entire city centre road scheme application site area. It is not anticipated that all land interests shown will need to be acquired to deliver the road scheme. However, a degree of flexibility prior to detailed technical approval of the scheme and its mitigation is required at this stage. Officers will take all responsible measures to minimise the need to acquire third party interests in accordance with CPO guidance and the existing design approach uh, to the scheme. And finally, uh, recommendation six, um, to note that officers will need to seek a further resolution to grant the Director of Regeneration and the City Solicitor authority in accordance with section 122 of the Local Government Act 1972 to declare that any land acquired or held and required for the delivery of the City Centre Road Scheme may, where they conclude that it is no longer needed for its present purpose, appropriate the land for such statutory purpose as necessary to deliver the City Centre Road Scheme and to authorise the override as such elements, right or other adverse matters burden, burdening the land where that is needed to deliver the scheme in reliance on section 203 of the Housing and Planning Act 2006. And just for members of the public who might be watching or interested in the detail of this, we do not anticipate we need to use a CPO. This is a just in case having a tool in the box uh, policy um, because the negotiation, uh, albeit that could be done uh, in a mutual um, uh, factor with some of the land owners um, involved, uh, but we do need to have um, established the fact that we're going to pursue uh, uh, a, a CPO in principle decision today because that can alter the way that you negotiate. Okay, colleagues. Um, Anything else to add? No? Right. Uh, colleagues minded to accept the six recommendations as laid down by officers. Yeah, can I have a show of hands? Okay, that's unanimous. Thank you very much. That is the end of the Portsmouth City Council Cabinet meeting um, today, which is the 11th of December. Uh, thank you very much for coming.